Mr. Beast is always happy in his videos, but sometimes things end up going wrong. From a time where Mr. Beast spotted a real ghost, a video where Mr. Beast was being followed by a strange man, and one of Mr. Beast's videos where he barely made it out alive. These are the five scariest moments in Mr. Beast's videos. Like the video and subscribe in the next five seconds, or this spider will be in your bed tonight. First, we've got one of Mr. Beast's scariest moments ever where he barely made it out alive. This was the time when Mr. Beast was driving home with his friends after filming a video. Everything was going fine, but then Mr. Beast's friend ended up falling asleep while driving. Keep watching though, because Mr. Beast literally thought his life was about to be over, but what he ended up doing next saved him. At the time I almost died. It's an eight hour drive with me and like two of my other friends. And then my friend driving, he just says, can we pull over to a gas station? I don't feel too good. And I'm like looking at the road and I turn and look to my left and his head just- Mr. Beast had no idea what to do and he thought they were about to crash. Yo, I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I'm just kind of like keeping the car going straight. And I just yell, wake the f up. And I'm like yelling. Yeah and he's not waking up. So Mr. Beast had to save both of his friends' lives by taking the car off the road. This was super risky, but luckily everything ended up being fine. But the crazy part is that Mr. Beast ended up finding out that his friend's heart actually stopped beating and that's why he passed out. Mr. Beast's friend then ended up waking up and drove them into a wall and made them crash. This was one of Mr. Beast's scariest moments ever. Let's check it out. And a few seconds go by and then Tyler in the back seat literally punches him in the head. His head just goes to the side. And does it. To take his foot off the gas, I have to put my head below the steering wheel so I can reach. And I just put my head below the wheel. I grabbed his foot and just threw it off the gas. I let off. This was such a scary moment for Mr. Beast and he thought it was all over. He comes back to life. So I just yoinked the wheel to the right. So we just slammed into a concrete wall and that just stopped the car. And yeah, then, that'll, that'll yeah, do it. Yeah, and then I, my head's like fucking bleeding and I have marks everywhere. And, and he goes, someone hand me a water? Watch the video until the end for 48 hours of good luck. Next, we've got one of Mr. B's scariest moments ever where he found out that someone was spying on him. So this was the video where Mr. Beast ended up going to Area 51 to explore. Mr. Beast ended up revealing afterwards that there was a car watching him from super far away the whole time. Mr. Beast had no idea who this was, but he just knew that someone was spying on him and he felt unsafe. Keep watching though, because after this, the guy ends up coming up to Mr. Beast and what he ends up saying will shock you. So we were outside our RV, just filming, doing our normal shenanigans. And we noticed there was a here. train sniper. Yeah. So this car was spying on Mr. Beast the whole time, which was making him really scared. Wait. A truck with a sniper on it. No, wait, you. what? Are you joking? Yeah, literally guarding the entrance. And that's when we were like, no way. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. In the middle of the night, this guy in this red uh, little Jeep thing yeah, shows yeah. up and he starts asking a lot of very detailed questions. So after this, Mr. Beast ends up saying that this creepy man came in a mysterious truck and started questioning him. Mr. Beast was super scared because he had no idea who this this strange man was. But the even crazier thing about this is that Mr. Beast ended up saying that he spotted two aliens while he was at Area 51. He didn't say these things in the original video, so not many people know about this. Let's check it out. And so we were very suspicious. This random man was questioning Mr. Beast, which really scared him. Here. No! Uh, yeah, yeah, and we we're like, uh, I don't know. And then he's like, What are you doing? And we're like, we told him we we're filming. He's like, Why are you filming here? Like very what? No question. way! And we're There's like, secret agents guarding the entrance? I don't know, but here's the thing. He told us at one point he was gonna leave and go get a bigger car yeah. to spend the night with us, and he left and he never came back. <gasps> Seriously. So we drove to the closest cliff, we grabbed some binoculars, we looked down, and I didn't see anything. All right! <laughs> yep, there you go. Besides aliens. I saw two, aliens? two aliens. Mr. Beast confirmed saw two aliens at Area 51. Indeed. Next, we've got another really creepy moment that scared Mr. Beast. This was the moment that Mr. Beast found out that he actually has a stalker and hundreds of people trying to find out where he is. Mr. Beast was just shopping in Target one day when a random kid ended up finding him because he was tracking his location. Mr. Beast couldn't believe this, so let's see what he ended up doing in this scary situation. I was in a Target. I just stopped by and buy a toothbrush real quick. I kid you not, I walk in, someone asked for a photo, I took it, just go to the toothbrush aisle. And when I'm checking out, a kid just runs in the front door and he's like, it's real. And I was like, what? And he's like, there's a Discord that tracks your location. And I thought it was it was fake, but it said you were here. And I, and I had to show up. Yeah, and like anytime like someone tagged me an Instagram photo or anything, 
it would like load it up there and then people would use it to figure out where I'm at so they could like try to find me. Like, okay, now if someone wanted to kill me, there's a Discord channel that tracks where I am at all times. That's stuff that doesn't happen when you have 10 million subscribers, when you have 100 million. And then now across everything, we probably have like four or 500 million followers and it just keeps going. It's like, oh, this is like a different league. Next, we've got one of Mr. Beast's challenges, which ended up going wrong. This was another super scary moment for Mr. Beast, which he barely escaped alive. This was the challenge where Mr. Beast buried himself for five days. The coffin was super small and he was hard to move around in. So at one point, Mr. Beast tried to move around and he ended up getting stuck and he thought it was all over. This was such a scary moment for Mr. Beast and let's see what he ended up doing next. There was a camera at my feet, Tariq could also, and I went- Mr. Beast's challenges are very dangerous and this one could have gone very badly. I'm not super flexed to turn. And so like, I'm laying like this and as I'm like bending, I got caught like halfway. Oh, and I was God. like, I was literally like, guys, if I can't get out of this in two seconds, you start digging right the fuck now. Cause I was like caught in a super awkward position yeah. like in the thing. And I just was like, I'm going to give it one last try. And I just pushed as hard as I could and I popped out the other end. Holy and then I camera. And, and then, then you I had, had to, to get it. back? Exactly. Next, we've got a scary moment where a real ghost was spotted in Mr. Beast's video. This is the video where Mr. Beast played an extreme $100,000 game of tag. Everything went normal in this video and Mr. Beast uploaded it to YouTube. But fans started noticing a creepy shadow following Mr. Beast in this video. Let's check it out and let me know what you guys think. Carl, we haven't worked together much. Yes. You can point that down. We're going to find somebody right now. You know, all right, so did you see the ghost? If not, let's take a closer look and then slow it down. We're gonna find somebody right now. You know why? We're gonna find some If you thought that was creepy, we got another angle which is even scarier. If you look closely here behind Mr. Beast, you can see a shadow. Is this a ghost? Next, we've got Mr. Beast talking about one of his biggest fears ever. This is basically the scariest thing for Mr. Beast that he hasn't told anyone before. Mr. Beast ended up getting asked in an interview what his biggest fear was and what he ended up saying will literally shock you. Keep watching though, because after this, Mr. Beast ends up revealing something which will literally blow your mind. From, are you afraid of death, by the way? Yes. I, I, it's hard because, like, what if you just die and then you just see nothing forever, you know? Yeah, the nothingness. So it just fades to blackness and you're just like that for trillions upon trillions to billion squared years. And it's just, it's scary. But also before you're born, you don't remember those what, X amount of years either. So um, that gives me a little comfort, but no, it's definitely, very scary. Something I'd rather not think about until I'm like 80. I'll, I'll deal with that problem then. So after this, Mr. Beast ends up revealing that after he dies, he actually has a plan. Hopefully he does live a long and healthy life, but if he does die, he actually has a plan for what he's going to do. Let's see what that plan is. If I knew I was gonna die of like cancer or something, and I had like three months to live, I would vlog every day. I'd film so many videos and then I would just schedule upload a video a week for like the next five years. Click on one of the videos on your screen. Peace.